Let's probably get it out of there, family. What the heck is going on? We in the cut with Mr. Martin, and the jibs. But we got some special guests. Say, state your name. State your name and your purpose. State your name and your purpose. Um, person. Hey, okay. My purse, Amy. Hey, let's get on into this video. They've been dying to be in one of the videos lately. Open your mouth real quick. We're gonna we're gonna zoom in real quick. Open your mouth. Open it up. Oh! Spartan kid out there, family. What the heck is going on? We are out here. We're fishing with Mr. Smith. He's got the drone out. He's getting some footage. I just tried to hit some top water uh, on my new Speed Demon Pro, but didn't have too much luck. They must have not liked my spook or whatever it is. I've noticed that here, I've only had luck on top water with one thing, one thing, and that was the Z-Man Poppin' Shad. So I need to get me more of those. The Z-Man Poppin' Shads are perfect. Uh, I gave two of them to my brother. It came in a three pack in my Lucky Tackle box. The one that I had just got torn up. So I'm definitely gonna get more of those and and see if I can't get any top waters out here. But Schmitty's just cruising with the drone over there. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna tell you a nice little yig uh, or something like that on the uh, Speed Demon Pro. I got a Texas rig. I'm gonna do a Texas rig four inch Stanko on the Spartacus Plus on the 6.6 medium. And see if we can't slap any of these smallies in the mouth. Mr. Smith's got two so far already and that was on uh, a T-Rig Stanko. So. Enough talk guys, let's get on the water. It's been a long time, it's been a minute. We'll talk about it and let's slap some small mouth or some large mouth in the mouth. We're gonna get after it. Mr. Smith was catching them with a little four inch Stanko. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I got a bobber stop on there. Gotta have the bobber stop so that the weight doesn't slip around everywhere and get you in. Some mossy situations. See what I did there? Mossy situation. I don't even think that's a that's a term, but I just made it up. You heard it here first, guys. Give her a cast. That looks good. Definitely not a fish. Oh. Is that moss? Are you kidding me? No way. Oh no, it's a tree pounder, guys. Hoo wee! There we go. And we're off. And somehow, wait a minute, let me show you guys what happened here. Somehow, we're wacky rigged now. <laughs> Alright, guys, last stop on the adventure Amity Green Bridge. We're gonna see if we can't get in here. I'm gonna pack light, I'm gonna leave the big camera here. Just go on the chesty, and if I need to get any video footage, I'm gonna do it on my phone. Audio won't be that great, but it'll be something. So, pack light, we're gonna leave this in the car, take the two poles, the gear, and go down there. So, stay tuned, let's hop on the chesty, and see if we can't get any fish. All right. Just hit the bridge. Let's try that again. I forgot that we run into some issues here because the bridge is right there. Well, they're jumping out here. And that was right next to him, so. The bite. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a fish. There was a fish. Dang. I'm over here looking at Insta messages, <laughs> getting distracted, of course. And I had a bite to set the hook. People used to actually jump off this bridge. There's a deep point, or was a deep point, right over here somewhere. And I've jumped off the bridge a couple times too, actually, back in the, my freshman year. I actually, I got me a little salmon steelhead pole to try to get these fall chinook or even the sum the summer run of these things i'm gonna i'm trying to do like a catch and cook salmon or steelhead video 
smoke one. Woo! But I gotta be able to catch one first. Gotta have the gear for it. Gotta know how, for one. I don't have the slightest clue of how to fish for him. So one of my boys, Martin, shout out to Martin if you're watching this, man. If this even makes it out, uh, he's gonna he's gonna take me out, show me the ropes, and hopefully we'll be able to get one. Man, ooh wee, I just switched up to a spinner, first cast, and there's something heavy on here, something big, something big, ooh, he's a healthy one, whoo, ooh, good smallie, nice healthy smallie. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice, healthy, smallmouth. You bent the shit out of my sp Dude, look how bent out that spinner is. No way. First cast, man, I just switched to this. Look at that smolly, man. Holy crap. This gotta be... I don't know, two pounds, two, two and a half pounds. Man, first cast on that spinner, and he bent the heck out of it. Hopefully I can still use it. Okay, let's go for the release here. There he goes, legit first cast. And he demolished it, holy crap, look at this. Man, holy moly, that thing just smoked it. I can't believe I wasn't recording. I was like, ah, we'll just throw this little spinner around, see what happens. Boom, first cast. Legit, my only spinner bait just broke off. No! You kidding me, man? <laughs> well, let's find something else that's similar. Let's see if we can't get anything else, because he demolished it. So now I'm gonna pull out two different cranks. Oh, come on. No. Okay, I think it's a sign for me to go because I've lost lures. I probably broke this one. Might I just have to cut my losses? See if this is cracked or anything. Well, we got a little crack in there, but she'll live. You know what, let's just keep on keeping on. If we lose lures, we lose lures. Come on. Like for real? We got a fish on. Yep. He's a little guy, little guy, little guy with a big appetite. That's okay though, we'll take him. Oop. Buddy, I'm not gonna play this game with you. Not when it comes to troubles. <laughs> All right guys, we got him out. We got him free. Oh, <laughs> wrong way buddy, there you go. That's the right way. There we are. Fish number two. All right. Oh. 
Well, I cast it clear across the way into the tree though. Come on. Put my sunglasses on for this just in case it comes flying back at me. I was legit just destined to lose every lure in my arsenal. Hi, right, boys and girls. That's gonna be all she wrote. It was a uh, it was a tough day to say the least. Uh, definitely glad I came here uh, so I could so I could nab those two fish. I uh, I say it's an especially tough day because I lost three freaking lures, man. Uh, of course, of course, I lost the spinner bait that was working that caught that fatty. Of course, I lost that one, and then of course I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it goes to show how good that uh, Spartacus Plus ca casts, but of course I lose that brand new white chatterbait that I just got. Get it stuck in a tree. That caught a fish. And then of course I lose my favorite crankbait that I have, my, my uh, bluegill pattern crankbait. But all in all, a decent day. We got some fishing done. We, we got the skunk out of the boat. We got somewhat of a video for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe. And I know it's been a while since I posted. Guys, don't lose hope in me. I'm going to start posting a lot more. Uh, we do have a baby coming, but we'll, we'll find time to sneak out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And we will catch you guys on another episode of Spartan Kid Outdoors. We will see you guys later.